Hello, this is Faith of Faith and Books. Um, happy Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving gift to you is going to be the final installment of The Dream of Gerontius by John Henry Cardinal Newman, uh, now a saint. And uh, before I get started, actually this, I'm going to read the last two sections, sections six and seven, which are short. And reading them both together only takes about four minutes. Um, and they're, they're the culmination of the whole poems, so they're very emotional. But I also want to note that Edward Elgar wrote a choral piece to this poem. Apparently he was given um, a copy of the poem for his wedding, on his wedding day, which is kind of odd, because it's about someone dying. But um, And he loved it, and he set it to music, and it's one of his masterpieces. It's redacted. Uh, the, it's not the full poem, but, you know, just just the best bits, I guess. But um, anyway, it's very beautiful, and I'll include some links uh, about that. You can you can uh, just look for it on YouTube, and there are recordings of it. Um, so I just thought I'd put that out there, that um, Elgar has a beautiful choral version of this poem. Um, so this is short, um, and I'll get started. Okay, so this is section six. So it um, in section five, they were climbing the um, angelic stairs up to the throne uh, where the soul Gerontius was going to receive his judgment. He's with his guardian angel. Thy judgment now is near, for we are come into the veiled presence of our God, soul. I hear the voices that I left on earth, angel. It, it is the voice of friends around thy bed who say the subvenite with the priest. Hither the echoes come. Before the throne stands the great angel of, of the agony, the same who strengthened him what time he knelt, lone in that garden shade, bedewed with blood. That angel best can plead with him for all, tormented souls, the dying and the dead. Angel of the agony, Yesu, by that shuddering dread which fell on thee, Yesu, by that cold dismay which sickened thee, Yesu, by that pang of heart which thrilled in thee, Yesu, by that mount of sins which crippled thee, Yesu, by that sense of guilt which stifled thee, Yesu, by that innocence which girdled thee, Yesu, by that sanctity which reigned in thee, Yesu, by that Godhead which was one with thee, Yesu, spare these souls which are so dear to thee, souls who in prison calm and patient wait for thee. Hasten, Lord, their hour and bid them come to thee, to that glorious home where they shall ever gaze on thee. Soul, I go before my judge. Ah, angel. Praise to his name. The eager spirit has darted from my hold, and with the intemperate energy of love flies to the dear feet of Emmanuel. But ere it reached them, the keen sanctity, which with its effluence like a glory clothes and circles round the crucified, has seized and scorched and shriveled it, and now it lies passive and still before the awful throne. O oh, happy suffering soul, for it is safe consumed yet quickened by the glance of God. Soul, take me away, and in the lowest deep there let me be, and there in hope the lone night watches keep, told out for me. There, motionless and happy in my pain, lone, not forlorn, there will I sing my sad perpetual strain until the morn. There will I sing and soothe my stricken breast, which ne'er can cease to throb and pine and languish till possessed of its soul peace. There will I sing my absent Lord in love. Take me away, that sooner I may rise and go above and see him in the truth of everlasting day. Section 7. Angel. Now let the golden prison ope its gates, making sweet music as each fold revolves upon its ready hinge, and ye, great powers, angels of purgatory, receive from me my charge, a precious soul, until the day when from all bond and forfeiture released, I shall reclaim it for the courts of light. Souls in Purgatory. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in every generation. Before the hills were born and the world was, from age to age, thou art God. Bring us not, Lord, very low, for thou hast said, Come back again, ye sons of Adam. 
a thousand years before thine eyes are, but as yesterday, and as a watch of the night which is coming and gone. The grass springs up in the morning, at evening tide it shrivels up and dies. So we fail in thine anger, and in thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our sins in thy sight, and our round of days in the light of thy countenance. Come back, O Lord, how long, and be entreated for thy servants. In thy morning we shall be filled with thy mercy. We shall rejoice and be in pleasure all our days. We shall be glad according to the days of our humiliation and the years in which we have seen evil. Look, O Lord, upon thy servants and on thy work, and direct their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and the work of our hands establish thou it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Angel, softly and gently, dearly ransomed soul, in my most loving arms I now enfold thee. And o'er the penal waters as they roll, I poise thee, and I lower thee, and hold thee. And carefully I dip thee in the lake, and thou... Without a sob or a resistance, dost through the flood thy rapid passage take, sinking deep, deeper into the dim distance. Angels to whom the unwilling task is given shall tend and nurse and lull thee as thou liest, and masses on the earth and prayers in heaven shall aid thee at the throne of the Most Highest. Farewell, but not forever, brother dear. Be brave and patient on thy bed of sorrow. Swiftly shall pass the night of trial here, and I will come and wake thee on the morrow. The Oratory, January 1865. Happy Thanksgiving.